Hi guys, my name is Alexo Avrenin. Welcome to YouTube channel Senior QA Automation Engineer. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Today I want to show you conditions with integers and booleans. You can create same integers conditions as for strings. I create two integers for that. I create condition for one number. If my variable equal to new number, my condition is true. Java prints my message and my integer in variable. Let's check it. Okay, two integers are equal because Java prints my message. Let's replace number with our second variable. Now we can do comparison between two variables. They are not equal. That's why Java doesn't print anything. I can do some calculation in condition and do comparison true. Number plus quantity equal to 60. Because it's true, it prints message for me too. I can add third empty variable sum. It will be filled in after our action. I can do some calculation in curly brackets and print our result, if our condition is true. Sometimes it's useful for some test cases. I can replace number with our second variable quantity in condition. After that we can play with else condition too and add other math formula for our action. Now you can see we have action and we have printed result. Ok, let's create a test case with boolean. I create boolean variable and can't add true or false value inside. I create if condition. If it's true, Java prints my action. I add else message too. We have print of our first message. And if we replace to false, it should be correct for else condition. If we add assertions false in else condition, it failed our test case. And it's right because we are expecting that if condition it should be true, but it's not real, that's why it failed our test case. I can add exclamation mark in condition and replace a lot of additional code. Exclamation mark means false in Java. It replaces our operators equal to false. We need boolean condition in our test cases. For example, you have checkbox on web page. In some cases it displayed, in some cases not. It depends on different categories. It can fail your test case and you can't predict visibility of these web elements. But all steps depends on this web element. In this case, you can create boolean and it's filled in by true or false. If element is visible in UI, it's true boolean and you can use one set of actions. If you would have false, it's another set of actions. It helps you to create flexible code and don't duplicate this code many times. You will have more beautiful, compatible and smart code.